All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Sensu, and I will push this button right here as soon as I'm in the room. <laughs> um, so Sensu is a uh, another platform for monitoring. I actually learned about it last week when I was at Monitorama, which was actually a really great single track conference um, that was in Boston this year, and it was a it was a whopping one hundred dollars. So um, if they're going to do it again in this area next year, I recommend going. Um, but one of the things that everyone seems to complain about was uh, Nagios. Um, and the people weren't really crazy about Nagios. They, um, you know, they, they used it. Everyone in the room raised their hand when somebody asked, hey, you know, do, you, do you still use Nagios even though you complain about it? And about you know, three fourths of the room were just like, yes, we do actually. Um, so somebody presented something on, on Sensu, and it's just a different. Um, it's, it's another monitoring system that uses check scripts a lot like Nagios, um, though there's just a different flow to how it's actually implemented. Um, you have this server right here. I'm moving my mouse around it, but if I had a laser pointer, I guess I could do that too. Um, you have this server that actually really only handles orchestration um, and, and alerting. Um, and you also have the clients that actually perform the checks. And you can start doing stuff like um, you know, in your configuration management engine, you know, not engine, but resource, um, defining checks on the local machines and also on the, um, on some form of monitoring server. Basically, the clients subscribe to a RabbitMQ um, resource that allows them to uh, know what checks to run, what checks not to run. Um, those checks, those check scripts are distributed um, not through Sensu, but through whatever CM platform that you choose to use, and uh, they report their status up to the Sensu server. And the Sensu server has a, runs a dashboard that allows you to take a look at the status of your infrastructure. Um, the Sensu dashboard does not show OK checks because if you're instrumenting a lot of things, it would not make sense. You might have a lot of green. It will only show, and I don't have a live demo because my instance is off on some private network, um, but you know the, the dashboard will only show things that are actively alerting. Which I actually think is uh, preferred if you're going to have like some sort of status page. Um, but I'm actually just getting started with this, so I'm not, you know, 100 you know, aware of, of all the things that you can do with it. Um, it's extremely accessible, though, as far as handlers go. Uh, you know, when, when something actually does trigger an alert, um, you can write a handle. You, know, you take that that incident and you pass it to a handler, and the handler can be um, a script of any kind. So you, you know, people have. There's already a wide community of resources around uh, Sensu, and they have many check scripts out there. They have many handlers that go to third-party services. So if you're a big pager duty customer, it just it just works. Um, so that's kind of the maybe 20,000 foot view of Sensu, and I encourage you to take a look at it and play with it um, if you find it interesting. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to troubleshoot. Thanks.